As people in the Slocan Valley watch their water, cleanup experts are offering reassurance today that the outcome could have been much worse. And as Petty Fong reports, the owner of the trucking company whose vehicle spilled its load is offering an apology. We've got a rainbow of fuel in the water. And just to my right, we've got juvenile dead fish right there. Two days after a tanker truck flipped over in the Slocan Valley, the evidence of the jet fuel in the water is emerging. That's all contaminated water. That's not foam or anything like that. That's the heavy jet fuels that do have benzene in them. And for the first time, a hint of what may have happened. This was certainly un absolutely unpredictable. Uh, the reason why the accident occurred in the first place is that the shoulder on the road gave way, causing the truck to uh, roll down the embankment and roll onto its side. So the, the road actually gave way and uh, subsequently caused the accident. The Fuel and Trucking Company Executive Flight Center says its driver walked kilometers off a logging road to get help following Friday's incident. He was then taken to hospital and released. The spill expert says not to worry. That doesn't mean that um, the product, when it hits the aquatic environment and the uh, fish and the, um, and the organisms that they rely on won't have a, a sort of immediate acute impact to that to the, at the locale, but it will quickly dilute and evaporate. But others say there are still concerns about where the remnants will settle. Some people would actually argue that uh, natural means are one of the most effective to actually allow it to remediate, but you'd still want to be able to understand exactly where this substance had gone. The company apologized Sunday for the incident, saying it is considering compensation. They promise to remain at the site until the cleanup is done. Petty Fong, CBC News, Vancouver. The Emergency Operations Centre in Kootenay will be holding a public meeting on Tuesday to address issues regarding the spill. Representatives from various groups, including the company responsible for the spill, will be in attendance to answer questions. For more information, you can visit their website at rdck.bc.ca.